I'm James Clark. I'm the co-founder of Room 214. I'm here with my friend Gail Van Gills. She is the founder of Transform Your Culture. Welcome, Gail. Thanks, James. Great to be here. Yeah, so today we're talking about uh, mindfulness. And so at Room 214, we're putting together an effort to really bring more mindfulness into the organization. So from a higher level, really, what is mindfulness? Great question, because I think that people may equate mindfulness itself with mindfulness meditation. And actually, they're quite distinct. Mindfulness is a natural capacity to place our attention or awareness on an object and to be aware of the context in which things are happening. That's mindfulness. That's a part of our human um, gifts, you might say. So it's sort of like the way that we have muscles. And we've got an arm muscle and we can do a certain amount of lifting, but if we go to the gym and we train the muscle, we have much more ability to lift and do what we need to do with our bodies. So in this sense, mindfulness, although a natural capacity, is a little bit weak. And mostly what we've trained it to do is to think about ourselves. <laughs> like, of course. What do I need? Right. What's going to make me happy? Yeah. And then that's being in our head and thinking about ourselves as opposed to being present for what's going on. Attention, because you're talking about we are actually are training ourselves to think about ourselves. Well, that's not what we want to do. So are there practices or trainings or ways to be able to move away from so much of that thinking of ourselves. Right, so it's, it's, you know, it's not only thinking of ourselves, but thinking of our problems, thinking about all the things that we need to do. I mean, basically, all of that happens up here in the realm of thought and rumination, and it has very little or nothing to do with the task at hand and what's actually going to find solutions at work and in your life. So if we can move from our thinking to being present in our body, we can move into being present for the tasks that are going on. So that's basically what we're training. We're training that ability to notice that we're thinking, notice that we've been pulled away, and to come back. So is there a practice we should be doing then? Uh, like, what is the training? Right, the training is pretty simple. The training is bringing awareness to your breathing, and when you find yourself thinking, noticing that, not trying to change that, and then being gentle and coming back to your breathing. So you're training the noticing and being able to come into your body and into your breathing. So you're just training this ability to place your attention. And we're placing it on the most basic activity that happens all the time that we're alive, breathing. So it's something that's completely portable. So um, I could show you how to do it if you'd like. Sure, you're going to do, little, do some breathing exercises. Yeah, do a little breathing yeah. exercise. Okay, great. So <clears throat> sit up straight. You're already sitting up quite straight, and that's, that's a good position. And you basically you can put your hands on your, on your thighs like that. You want to feel um, relaxed and strong at the same time. So just sitting naturally, comfortably in a chair, or some people like to do it on a cushion. But right now, for us, this is a perfect posture. Your feet are flat on the floor. And just do a very slight body scan, so notice if your shoulders are tense, let them relax. If you're holding tension around your eyes, soften. And your eyes can be just open, gazing, allowing the visual field to be there, just like every other um, sense field is open right now. Or alternatively, if you prefer, you can close your eyes for meditation. So just take a breath, feel that breath in your body, feel yourself settling into your chair, relaxing. And so now you're placing your attention on the feeling of your body breathing. So you feel your belly as it goes up and down, as the breath comes in and out. You just place your awareness there, with each in-breath and out-breath. And if you notice your attention wandering, no problem at all. That's exactly what we're doing. We're noticing if it wandered. And then you just gently note that you were thinking and bring it back to feeling your body breathing. So 
take about three more mindful breaths in this way. Aware of the breath coming in. And the breath going out at your own pace. If your eyes were closed, please open them. Just come back. And that was a brief experience of practicing mindfulness. So it's a practice of noticing if your mind wanders off and placing your attention. And every time that we do that, we strengthen that muscle of mindfulness, that muscle of being able to bring ourselves back to where we want our attention to be focusing. Okay, so we're talking about mindfulness at work. So is this something we should be doing at work? Um, we don't necessarily just drop into some form of meditation when yeah. we're noticing ourselves react, right? Or how does this then begin to apply? Like what should the practice be? Yeah, that's a great question because, you know, there are some workplaces that actually have um, meditation space or there may be times in your day where you could take that minute that we just took, but it's not necessary particularly if you do four or five minutes of practice, let's say in the morning before you go to work, and this is, becomes a part of what you're training yourself to do is to notice and return, notice what's going on, in your mind and body and return, you'll find that you could take, let's say, three mindful breaths. You've been triggered, or you're feeling stressed, or you're feeling anxious about going into a meeting, or someone just said something that, that triggered you. In any of those moments, if you just, even one breath could do it, or just leave a little gap and take another breath or two before you respond, that is practicing mindfulness at work. And so we all can do that. Simple. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. All right, well thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome.